a thinker, observer, the baddest man you ever heard of. All right, welcome back everyone to the 2020 Vision Podcast. I'm so excited for this episode. We have been rolling through this journey of talking about different topics relating to mental health and the way that we are in our 20s and how we incorporate you know, all these lessons into our 20s. For most of you that have been watching, we've been going through self-love, different ways to you know have self-evaluation, self-awareness, and figure out you know how to challenge yourself in different ways so that you can kind of look from the outside mirror in and figure out ways that you can improve and grow yourself so today we're going to be talking about relationships now for many of you who are in relationships or used to be in relationships or who will be in the future you know that there is no perfect relationship and so i would just want to emphasize that from early on um you know not everybody is perfect couples you know make hard times sometimes and just have a real struggle you know figuring it out so there's no perfect relationship and it could just be friendships also because you know you have a relationship with god you have a relationship with your family you have a relationship with friends and stuff like that so, um today on this episode i have here one of my very long time friends someone who i met during covid uh, who's really shown me uh, the true definition of loyalty and really has given me a different perspective on a lot of things in life. So Jay, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself. We'll get right into the topic. Yo, what's up, everybody? My name is Jalen McMillan. I'm a senior at Hampton University and a theater performance major. <laughs> Wesley, thank you for having me. Of course, man. And I know uh, this is a, a good topic for the both of us. I feel like we've seen our fair share of, you know, what good relationships look like, um, what bad relationships look like, even friendships, because we've been a part of the same circles. And that's something that, you know, we have both um, experienced, definitely have learned from, as you know, as one strongly can say. So for you, Jalen, I know you've been in a committed relationship in a, for a very long time. What does that mean to you, the word commitment, um, the, just the word relationship as a whole to enlighten people on, you know, what does it take to be in a relationship and how do you, um, as one can say, like, how do you stay, you know, prepared for pretty much anything? Cause that's what relationships are uh, when you're in a relationship. You have to stay prepared because stuff changes, you adapt to stuff and you go through, you know, so many different growth moments. So talk to us a little bit about that. Yeah, so um, commitment wise, I mean, you really have to stay loyal to your person because, you know, you don't want to lose them over some random person that is trying to get your attention. All they want is your attention, and then they're just going to leave after that. And if you give them your attention, you're letting them win, and then you got the best thing that's right in front of you. And when that leaves, you realize you messed up. Right. So commitment is is everything in a relationship communication is everything in a relationship and when i when i first started dating my girlfriend um i had to understand that i wasn't i, I wasn't fully mature when i first got into college right. and when i met her and um, met uh, like my friend group. I had to like learn how to I basically like had to learn how to evolve as a as a man and understand that hey you can't do these type of things um they're irresponsible you know it's time to grow up you know uh because you know i, I met my um i met my girlfriend sophomore year so you know we didn't have that freedom freshman year so i'm coming on campus and i'm like okay it's way different from high school and i have so much so much freedom and so much things i want to do because you know we were on the computer screen doing classes and stuff so when you get out there your sophomore year and you have a, you developed a little bit of immaturity during covid you have to say to yourself hey this is not how that's this is not how it's supposed to be right. and you gotta match your person you gotta match you gotta you gotta match your significant other their maturity it should be the same 
it, uh, if if it's not balanced, it's it's not gonna work. And I had to, yeah, I had to I had to uh, mature. And throughout my relationship, I really have matured. And um, with a relationship, everybody changes. Everybody changes in the relationship. Things change, and you really see it happening um, throughout the summer, fall, spring, winter. Doesn't doesn't matter. But like, you see those changes, and you just you you look at their good changes and you look at their bad changes and you know in in a relationship you can see good and bad changes but if the good outweighs the bad and the bad the only doing the only doing something like temporarily don't worry about it but if the good if they're changing on a good level focus on that because man from what I had, from what I had, um, November 9th, 2021, 20, yeah, 2021, uh, to, to now, it, it has evolved drastically. And it, maturing in a relationship also, like, just, like, lets you see the world differently, lets you understand life differently. And it also helps you with, um, it helps you with friends in general. You can understand, you can understand them better because now you're on their level. And um, your significant other can really help you with with those things. Me, me, me and my um, girlfriend help each other, you know? And in a relationship, it requires one to grow. If you guys aren't growing, then it's not. It, it, y'all are just the same, and it it doesn't work like that. Yeah, no, and I I definitely agree with what you said about the communication part. I think that's something that a lot of people do not um, appreciate. You know, just in life today, like communicating. And it don't even have to be in a relationship, but also a friendship as well. Like if you don't communicate, then what's the point of, you know, trying to grow with each other and trying to help each other? Like, I just feel like you have to use your words, number one. Uh, number two, yeah. you have to build that trust through communication. And number three, that also, you know, helps build loyalty too. Because if you're not communicating with somebody, you're basically like, you feel like an outcast or a liability towards, you know, whatever you're trying to build. And so I know we've been, um, a part of some of the same circles and i think you know we've definitely seen our fair share of the communication you know lacking in that area um and i think you know just separating like the the terms communication and um loyalty and talking about like relationships versus you know i guess the term that this generation has coined now situationships you know just talking mm -hmm. about like that little area of commitment and then going into the long-term commitment it can be hard for a lot of people because everybody first of all everybody has different standards everybody has different ways that they feel about you know how relationships work i know i've met people with low standards some with very extreme high standards and some who feel like you know they don't have any standards at all and i'd say that that, that shows a lot about who you are as a person and how you respect yourself like you have to have strong standards for yourself because that'll that lets other people know that number one i'm not to be messed with number two you know i know my worth and this is what you have to do to meet those requirements and then number three it allows both parties to know like we're not going to waste each other's time and as you know in our generation like wasting time it has become a norm like it has really you know become something that we're normal and used to and it's like you're wasting someone's time because you don't even know at the end of the day if that's what you want and so your experience you know just in college and also in high school how has like commitment played into that because i know it, it can be you know a lot of like parents and old school um people that send you off to college a lot of them say like you know don't get in a relationship when you get to college don't you know jump into a relationship don't worry about a relationship focus on your studies focus on what you have to do but how have you been able to to make it work with commitment and also um how have you been able to make it work you know with the communication because i feel like that's key to a lot of really good and healthy relationships and people really need to need to hear ways you know in in order for that to work yeah definitely so like communication wise when you're in college you have a bunch of tasks that you have to do and 
it can become overwhelming with being in a relationship as well and it's hard to balance that when you first start off because it's like okay i need to devote my time to these studies but at the same time i need to devote my time to my girlfriend so there were days where me and my girl didn't see each other and we we actually before before um i think it was like this uh last year basically um there was a time where we didn't see each, we were seeing each other every day but then yeah. it had to decrease because it was like okay i actually need to get my work done i need to focus on my studies um one day it's not going to kill us right we're um my relationship is long is long distance you know she she is in a whole nother state um i believe like six or seven hours away but if you are able to hold the relationship together while you're um far away then then you're you know you, you're good like one one day is not going to affect you and communication wise you know if you feel like your partner is not doing enough if you're giving you know night um if you're giving like 90 percent mm -hmm. um and they're giving like 50 percent, you can really see that 50 percent because there are things that you're doing that you are that that you're willing to do that they're not and um in my past relationships i saw that a lot and one thing i had a conversation um with with um you know my past exes and basically i was just like look if you're not willing to give what what i'm giving in then it's not it's not gonna work and those relationships didn't work out because they didn't you know they didn't they didn't want to put the time they didn't want to put the energy in it and they just weren't devoted to being in a relationship um and for the relationship that i'm in now the communication is great everybody in a relationship has to work on communication sometimes there's things where you fail a math test or you get in an argument with someone and that whole your whole day is ruined and sometimes you just want to be alone and you will push the person that wants to help you the most away. And so then that is like to the other person, you have to think about their perspective to your significant other. It's like, I don't want to be bothered with you, you know, um, but if you let them know what you're going through, they'll understand. Some people just some, not some people. Everybody needs space. Everybody needs space sometime not saying like um don't talk to your partner for like a week or something or don't talk to your partner for um this amount of days but if you're going through something and you just need some time alone take that time and if you are if you communicate with them they should be able to understand and as and and if um it doesn't have anything to do with them then they should be they should be good so communication is is key if you're not communicating it, it doesn't it doesn't work and the reason i say that is because let's say you're on facetime for 16 minutes a day and you're not you're not you're asking you one person's communicating right but the other person's not communicating oh what'd you do oh not much oh how was your day it was good but you're not telling me what you did. You're not engaging in the conversation. So you're not there. And that happens. I see that happening in a lot of relationships. And you just have to. You, you, you have to really make that boundary. And um, you got to build build a boundary. The wh Whatever the person is going through with communication wise. You have to build that boundary. And let them know you know what you want in the relationship and if that person is not willing to give you those things then why why waste your time you know yeah you gotta be you gotta be fully 100 100 committed you can be not you can be 95 percent committed and i can be 100 percent committed but if i'm giving five more i'm still seeing that five percent that you're not doing and you know, it's like a it's like a seesaw. It's one thing one thing's going up and you're and you're you're going down. So Yeah. No, I, I definitely agree and 
you know, I, I honestly have to say, like, with relationships as a whole, you know, they always talk about the difference between um, putting in effort and, you know, getting out what you're putting in. And I think for a lot of people in relationships, you have to understand that it's not a one sided thing. It's not a one sided conversation. It's not a one sided mm-hmm. communication. It's definitely not a one sided effort in person. It's how both parties play into that. And so this summer, like personally, you know, I've I've kind of like entered the dating portal a little bit. Um, and it's been like, honestly, I want to say more so frustrating than um, any progress because I felt like my time was being wasted constantly. I don't know what it was. I just felt like I was trying too hard. Um, sometimes I felt like I was inconveniencing myself and changing my schedule around to make sure that others were, you know, others were uh, implemented on what they need to do. And I think it just made it hard because it kind of like shows you that some people just truly do not care. And you have to really understand that about people is that sometimes they really just do not care. And you can't waste so much time and energy on that person or on that situation because then you're missing out on other blessings, you know? And right. me f- me being so focused on that current situation and things that I did this summer, that took away from the actual important things I need to be doing, like making sure I was ready to graduate college and taking, you know, the necessary um, growth in my, my mental health and spiritual health and physical fitness journey. Like you guys have to really sit back and understand um, a lot of what is being said is based off of you like that's literally how it works you control your narrative you control your situation i said this on every single episode like you have the power to control how your life works and if you decide to put you know a certain amount of energy into one person they don't put that same amount of energy into you then that's on them why i feel like a lot of people stress themselves over simple stuff that could be resolved with a i'm good i'm gonna pass you got it like let it go and you know just just stuff like that so definitely agree with you um and to go into sort of like the last point talking about relationships as a whole in college uh us being in our 20s um i know that relationships can sometimes come with a lot of drama um definitely come with drama from friendships come with drama from dealing with you know things family related come with drama from dealing with just your life in general because we are so busy at this current time and being in our 20s is a pivotal decade that we're trying to figure ourselves out so for you and your relationship and you personally how do you feel like you've been able to maintain peace um and if you like let's like take away your uh relationships for a second but just you in general how do you maintain peace inside of your relationship and how do you also make sure that your relationship maintains peace from the outside drama that's out there in the world and that's that's a good question because i've um i at hampton i have experienced times where just you know either boys or girls try to steer your mind in the wrong direction and make you think you know you're not doing enough for that person or they're not doing enough for you and the thing that the biggest thing that i realized throughout that whole um whole learning process is that nobody should know the inside the inside of your relationship except for you and your significant other yeah. because if you let other people in that just gives them more stuff to talk about more stuff more 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 stuff for them to spin it gets out of control a boundary that me and my girl have is that what happens in the relationship stays in the relationship it doesn't you know there's no need for gossiping there's no need for um you know bringing bringing each other down Oh, it, like talk why, why would you talk down on your significant other that's someone that you want to be that's one thing i don't understand about some of these relationships a lot of people decide to you know guys to talk um girls would gossip to their uh girlfriends you know oh he's not doing that much you know all this stuff and then the guy, guys will talk in barbershops about their girl and stuff like that but there's just certain things that don't need to be talked about because 
they can give you the wrong advice and put the wrong thing in your head then you're looking at your significant other differently knowing that's not even what it was yeah so now you're influenced by it by someone you're letting somebody else control your relationship that's what you're doing so i in my, in, in for me myself i've made sure that my relationship just stays stays with us because you know the only people that i talk to my relationship about is either my my um my my dad my mom and maybe maybe my girlfriend's parents but it's it it's never anything negative it's always something positive and you know those are the people that i go to advice for because they have the most resourceful information because they've experienced everything they've experienced going to college they've experienced being married they experienced love they experienced um you know what you should do in a relationship what you shouldn't do in a relationship what are the red flags you know so i keep my relationship totally um I believe the word is secluded so i keep i keep it closed i keep a closed circle with just just me and my girl because there are people that just want to rise out of you and don't want to see you happy and um things can get things can get steered in the wrong direction so fast when you speak about when you speak to somebody about something they don't even know of and they're just hearing it they're just hearing hearing it from you and then they give you their input like why why do i why do i need to do that in hampton university the um students there are messy very messy things go around things get around very quickly on things like um instagram twitter and um fizz so and i see people talking about the significant other they'll either do it anonymously or they'll do it publicly and they'll either they'll, they'll drag them for something small but it could have just stayed in the in your circle you could you can cut him off mm -hmm. you know you can cut you can cut that person off but you don't need to bring it to social media. You don't need to bring it to the outside circle. It's, it's, it's not needed. It is, it's not needed. I, I completely avoid that because, um, you know, dealing with that type of stuff is exhausting. And, you know, they're not, they, they haven't been in the relationship that you've been in. They're hearing one thing and taking that and giving you negative, giving a negative input yeah yeah so for everyone else you know keeping your relationship private is so key to having like a happy environment happy space um there's a reason why most of us do not fulfill that is because we constantly want to share stuff with people constantly want to keep you know our lives open and public and i think social media definitely has a lot to do with that um showing everyone you know you can post your stuff online try to like make people jealous i think you know just it being childish as a whole is a very important factor into why we have not made such growth in our generation in that area so just keeping your stuff private um make sure that you only you know talk about the business of your you know relationship with your person or you know family or just people that you trust and you know you know that aren't gonna go out and try to spread your business because that's how messy situations are started and as you know you and i both know jail and both of us going to a small campus you know mm -hmm. it, stuff spreads real quickly and you know i just emphasized to everyone that keeping your stuff private is the best thing and it's not this is way deeper than relationships this is just about your life about your health mm -hmm. um about your mentals about things that you're doing your dreams your goals like share with people the results and the happy moments and things that you feel like will inspire others but don't share all of the extra drama the things that happen within um you're only setting yourself for for extra you know unnecessary like 
perspectives and opinions and you know things that people always are going to have to say so i think that's very critical um when we think about relationships and the last thing i would say is make sure that you all know who you're dealing with in terms of you know your your life your business like mm -hmm. you should you know be so quick to you know to trust somebody and be you know don't let your judgment down so quickly because then that's going to allow people to be able to just like grab at you and be like you know i got a hold of you so now i'm not i'm not letting go and then that allows you to get blindsided and you're sitting there like once every you know all the damage is done and once you're hurt you're like how did i let that happen like where did i miss that and that's just i i emphasized everyone to really um avoid that at all costs and make sure that you are protecting your peace protecting your crown make sure that you're protecting your life your relationship things that are sacred to you um you know and you y'all see in life the people that keep their stuff private are the ones that are thriving the most so that really um is an important factor so um Jalen, if you have any last minute things to add or any advice to give to people about keeping a positive and healthy relationship and i'll leave the floor to you yeah um you said one thing about uh when you for your dating life you feel like you're wasting time so you're never wasting time but you're wasting energy you're wasting energy on someone that doesn't want to put the same energy that you're putting in but you're never wasting time if you gain something from it if you gain something from it, if you learn something from it you are not wasting time because you know going forward that that's that's not what you want that's 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 an x and you see that another person it's okay it's a red flag you can you can you can move forward but you got to keep checking out the red flags and making sure that it's not going the same way that it went with the person that that you were that you experienced that with so no that's real i definitely I agree and i gained a lot from the and the things that i went through so i definitely i while i didn't enjoy the ending of them i definitely appreciated what i gained from them and the lessons that they taught me so that next time i won't make the same mistake so that's a huge advice to everyone watching is if you have something that you're passionate about if you have something that you're invested in and you want to make it work make sure that if it doesn't you gain something from it, you learn from it. And the next time, you know, to not make that same mistake so you won't get hurt again. So um, that's awesome. But thank you uh, for everyone being on this journey. Um, we have, you know, about a couple more episodes of season two left. And season three is going to be a whole different game changer. So definitely excited to get some more guests on here um, from all other schools, other spaces, you know, different places where people can provide their insight on things. And thank you, Jalen, for hopping on um, and talking about an important topic that I know a lot of people can learn from and just, you know, take in and share from their experiences because you have to you have to protect the relationships in your life because, um, you know, I say this all the time. You can't you can't do this life stuff alone so definitely protect your your relationships um keep your stuff private and make sure that you are never putting yourself in a, a era to be self-sabotaged so um thank you again jay and i will see everyone on the next episode and protect your relationships um do not do not let somebody come in and ruin something that that is good unless it's abusive or abusive to you mentally and physically don't don't let them in because you'll ruin something good that you have and you won't you won't you won't realize it until it's gone don't let somebody else control your relationship it's like chess you and that person you want you and your significant other are playing chess they're making a move you're making a move all right don't let anybody else control the board don't do it absolutely so you're already here folks protect your peace protect your crown don't let anyone stop you from you know giving or actually putting a wall in front of you to protect all of the damage that might be done and never be afraid to say no to stuff that might damage your your heart or your spirit so but thank you all and we will see you all on episode 13 hey tough <laughs>